Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is San. This is a reading today for Virgo. There are no dates on my readings. I just trust that when the message finds you, if it resonates with you, then it's your message at that time. Um, so Virgo, we'll just jump right in today. You're beginning the reading as the Queen of Earth. Um, and this is clearly you. And you're coming in like exceptionally earthy. You know, of course, being a Virgo earth sign, but this, you know, as the queen of earth and you can see how um, she's like embodying nature. It's like she is earth. It's like you're so earthy. You're so coming across as earthy and grounded that you're almost coming across as mother earth or mother nature itself. It's a really um, organic, grounded, earthy, pure essence of earth coming through. For you today, and it's interesting because the second card out, the Hierophant, um, is almost presenting a. It's it's almost like the exact opposite. This represents structure and institution, you know, um, rules, laws, regulation, constructed reality, and you're kind of the the opposite of that. You're um, you're like pure essence, and this is uh, this is like all man made. The man-made world as opposed to the natural world. Um, and then with the four of earth coming out after that, what was coming through with these, you know, you being this, this gorgeous earth energy, pure earth essence, and and you know, looking at or taking in this, this structured man-made world from your very grounded, earthy, almost detached. Um, energy. It's like, you're, it's like you're not really part of this, um, but you're taking it in. And then this four of earth card here is kind of, what's the message here? It's kind of like, if this is how everybody else or religion or institution do it, you know, with all of their tools and their books and their rules, you know, this is how they proceed through life. This is how they determine right and wrong. This is how they go about creating anything. Um, you're coming across as this energy, the four of earth, and you have no tools. You're completely in nature and made of nature and of nature. There's nothing constructed here. And the other interesting message that was coming through here is I often say that this card is the conduit between the divine and the mundane. You know, kind of funneling the uh, higher realms and grounding it down into the earth plane. But what I was getting for you today, Virgo, is this interesting switch. I've never seen this card this way before, but suddenly the energy was going up. I've always seen this as kind of like a funnel and she was gathering information, you know, intuition, messages, you know, like this being an antenna kind of a, <clears throat> a receiving but this seems to be today that you're more transmitting or uh, almost like releasing or, you know, the energy is going upwards with you. And there was a real emphasis on um, <clears throat> lack of structure and, and use of hands. It's like you don't need tools. You're shaping or creating with your bare hands, all completely organic and natural. I mean, she's holding a moth there, but... Um, you know, which is obviously a natural element as well. So there, it's like, it's almost like, you know, assessing, assessing the two versions of things. Obviously you are much more inclined towards this. You know, you're not comfortable within this structured, rigid environment. This is, this is your energy here very clearly, obviously. So, and, but like I said, with this, with this energy that that seems to be moving upwards. It's almost like creating something. You're creating something with the earth, with the earth elements, and then releasing it up to the ethers with the, with the six of fire coming out next, like all this, all this energy rising up. You have all of this up rising up energy, starting with something that, that is created by you um, connected to the earth like sending up a signal almost sending it it's, but it's not a signal it's it's almost like you're actually sending your creation up if that makes any sense um and then with this seven of air coming out next to it it's like it's you know it's, it's all going like this 
you know, you're sending your creation up through the etheric realm and it's meeting, it's, it's arriving in this, you know, heavenly higher dimensional place, but it's, you know, what you're creating is showing up as, as like a, an actual life form that, you know, I know this is a really strange message. It's one of those really, you know, on the edge esoteric messages that, you know, isn't going to connect with everybody. Of course, you could you could bring this down into a, a more um, 3D message in that, you know, you're you're clear. This could be you in a job situation, you know, and you not really suiting the way they do things in that job. And so it almost has this feeling of you kind of gathering um, what you can from this situation, from this dynamic, this um, contrasting experience that you're having, gathering the essence or, you know, bits and pieces of it, the gems of the situation and kind of gathering them up and taking them with you elsewhere. So this is the elsewhere, but you seem to be sending your collecting, you're gathering, you're collecting, you're creating whatever it is, and you're sending it ahead of yourself because you're still, you're still back here in, in whatever this is, but you're sending this energy or whatever, whatever your creation is, whatever it is that, that you're um, pulling out of this experience, you're forwarding it ahead of yourself into this environment, which like I said, I see it as a higher dimension or a higher realm. It's almost like you're, you're taking elements of this place and feeding it to a higher realm. And it's actually, um, it's like it, it springs to life there. It's like, it's actually, um, you know, I've heard, I think it's Abraham Hicks say, you know, that everything really does exist. And so she was talking one day, Esther was talking one day about um, the characters in the Wizard of Oz, the fictional characters in the Wizard of Oz. And Abraham was saying that even though they're fictional characters, they do have their own consciousness once they are created. It's like they are their own thought form, their own consciousness within themselves. And they go on to have an experience. So it could be that too. It could be like you're a writer or, you know, an artist of some kind creating, you know, worlds through your art. And it's actually, it's like in some realm, in some dimension, it's actually springing to life and has a life of its own from that point forward is the message I was getting here. But also the other message from this card, the seven of air is I was seeing this as almost like a, a pre-life or in between life space. Like I said, it's kind of this heavenly realm um, or etheric realm. And it's, I'm seeing this as you planning with your, um, you know, with your guides or your counsel or however, however you want to look at it, this particular incarnation, it's like, this was a plan this this coming here and having this kind of a of um it's almost like a friction but it's not quite that harsh uh just a contrasting experience where you're not fitting into the existing established order and then because of that creating something out of it something new something out of the natural elements of here not not using anything from the structure, but the essence underneath it, like the ground underneath the structure you're using to create something on a higher realm. And that was kind of all planned. That was the whole plan coming in here. That was your life purpose, predestined, predecided by you before even incarnating. So, and then with the page of water, card here coming up next is like this is you arriving here in this incarnation and what I was getting from this especially because you know she's got that mermaid tail and you know she's she's definitely you know her eyes are are very if it's gonna focus her eyes are very unique and otherworldly what I was getting from this card today is like when you arrived here it's like you're almost tiptoeing in you know, a little unsure because it's not really your territory. It's like you're new here. And, um, you know, it's like, it's almost like you're only just a visitor. And like I said, and this could be, if you want to just keep this really normal, this could be you just starting a new 
job or, you know, just tiptoeing into a new experience, almost trying not to draw too much attention to yourself because it's like, you know, that you're, you don't really fit in here. You know, you're, you're mermaidy. You've got these, these gorgeous, you know, um, these, her eyes are almost made of light. They're really beautiful. They don't come through the camera very much, but it's like they're projecting light. Um, so whatever, however you take it, it's like you entering into a situation an experience that you know that is just temporary. It's like you're a visitor. You don't really belong. And it's almost like you're coming in really gently so as not to draw attention to yourself. Um, and then with the five of fire card out next, it's like this is progressing through your life. This is your childhood. This is your adolescence or, you know, your school years where you, um, like I said, trying not to draw attention to yourself, trying to sit in and, um, almost blend into the background, not rock the boat. And just kind of, like I said, almost like a visitor, just trying to take in you, what's around you. It's almost like assessing, assessing the situation, you know, just observing, quietly taking it in with, like I said, without drawing attention, not contributing. There's no contribution on your part. You're like this passive energy, just, just taking in, the dynamics, the details, the inner workings of whatever situation you found yourself in. Um, and then with this, with the two of fire out next, this is, you know, at some point on your journey, you uh, get up from this seated position and, and exit stage left in a sense. It's like, it's like you, it's like you coming in, um, observing all that you can, gathering uh, all the information that you need to then, uh, head out on your own to begin your own to begin your purpose in a sense it's almost like this plan that you came in with uh, required all of this kind of preparation or um, kind of acclimatizing and familiarizing yourself with what it is you have to work with and then once you've once you have a firm understanding of everything that's going on around you, you then set out on your purpose. That's when your purpose begins at that point. And then the two of earth and the three of water out next, you know, again, these really organic earthy energies, earthy, you know, earth and water, planetary energies, natural energies, and all of this attention to the hands, like working this, this kind of swirling, creating, you know, it's like this, the swirling mixing together of elements almost pulled from the earth, right? Like, now I know it's a super itchy today. Oh my goodness. Um, like I said, it's like you're, it's almost like a mining. It's almost like digging into the earth or, you know, diving into the water and pulling up, you know, the materials that you're going to use to create this creation that you're, that you came here to do. But it has to do, like I said, with, with, um, you know, deep diving or mining or digging where it's like going below the surface, bypassing all of the structures that are in place and getting to the core essence. Like I said, mining, um, mining out the pearls and the gems and the purest essence of the natural environment. But in order to do that, you have to pass through the structured world on your way in to that, to this realm. Um, and then with the seven of water out next, this is this is like you and your creations again. All of this energy of, of up, it's like it's like you are you know hands in the clay, hands in the mud, shaping like the earth with with earth and water and you know the natural the purest natural earth elements, blending them together and then sending them up out into the ethers. But again, it's almost like you know, they're, they're beings, they're, they're living creatures that you're creating. I, I know it doesn't make sense. I guess it's symbolic. I don't completely understand it. I'm just sharing the message with you. Going back to that fictional story type idea where, you know, everything is consciousness. All of all that is, is consciousness, right? So if you create a fictional character it has a life of its own from that point on. It's like you are the creator of these 
uh, consciousnesses that go on and then live their lives in some dimension, in some reality. That seems to be what's occurring here. And again, with this 10 of air card, it's like you, you're, you're sending, you're sending it out to the ethers and there's some purpose. There's a real purpose in it. Like I said, it's like, this is the whole reason that you've come is to, it's almost like coming here on a mission or coming into a job or relationship situation on a mission to just, um, you know, in and out as fast as you can, in a sense, I know it's, it's taken some time, but in the grander scheme of all time or all no, no, non time, um, you know, it's really just a blink of an eye, but just kind of dropping into an experience or dropping into a world and mining the best parts of it, mining the, the purest, best parts of it. But it's somehow connected to this as well. I mean, this plays into it somehow. Mining the, the purest, best parts of it and then and then sending that energy or life force or consciousness out into another realm almost to begin it's like you're going to go and meet it at some point and use that to as the basis to expand to create another life another world like i said if this is a if this is like a job it's like gathering the jewels to then go on and start your own business that that only has within it the best of the best that's come before that kind of an energy. So I'm going to continue to pull cards and create an extended. If you're interested, I'm going to, I'm going to um, pull out my mystical moments deck because I can feel obviously that this message wants to get a little strange. And it's my strange deck. So if you're interested in the extended link is in the description box. And if not, I'll see you next time. Virgo. Thanks. Bye.